Math 083, Final Exam Review, Problem 22, Parts A, B, and D. We must solve each equation by factoring. To solve by factoring, there are three steps. The first step is to get zero. That means all terms on one side of the equal sign, the other side of the equal sign will read zero. Then you want to factor. You may need to find the greatest common factor. You may need to use the AC method. You may need a special formula. And once you have it in this form, where you have a product of factors equal to zero, you set each factor equal to zero. Let's look at part A. Because the leading coefficient, the coefficient of x squared, is one, there is a shortcut to factoring. We need to find two numbers that multiply together to give negative 56, which is the C value. Those two numbers must add up to equal 1, which is the implied B value. The two numbers that do that are 8 and negative 7. Again, because we are using the shortcut for the situation where the leading coefficient is 1, we can write x plus 8 times x minus 7 equals 0. Setting x plus 8 equal to 0 and subtracting 8 from both sides, we get x equals negative 8 as one solution. Writing x minus 7 equal to 0 and adding 7 to both sides, we get x equals 7, our second solution. Now let's move on to part b. We have 9m squared equals 25. Remember the first step, get 0. We do that here by subtracting 25 from both sides of the equation. We have 9m squared minus 25 equals 0. The left hand side is a difference of perfect squares. It factors as 3m plus 5 times 3m minus 5, and that is equal to 0. Setting 3m plus 5 equal to 0, we subtract 5 from both sides and get 3m equals negative 5. Dividing both sides by 3, we get one solution as m equals negative 5 thirds. Setting the other factor, 3m minus 5, equal to 0, we add 5 to both sides and get 3m equals 5. And dividing both sides by 3, we get m equals 5 thirds, the second solution. Now, let's move on to part D. In order to get 0 on one side of the equation, we will have to do some expanding and cleaning up. The right-hand side occurs after some distribution. I'm going to subtract y squared from both sides. We have 8 equals 2y squared minus 6y. I will also subtract 8 from both sides. We have 0 equals 2y squared minus 6y minus 8. Now we must factor. I see a GCF of 2. This quadratic factor inside the parentheses has a leading coefficient of 1, so we can use a shortcut for factoring. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 4, but add up to negative 3. Those numbers are negative 4 and positive 1. So the equation reads 0 equals 2 times y minus 4 times y plus 1. We set each variable factor equal to 0. y minus 4 equals 0. Adding 4 to both sides, we get y equals 4. We write y plus 1 equals 0. Subtracting 1 from both sides, we get y equals negative 1. Here are our two solutions.